So here I got the day's chart, five minute candles for April 21st. We had the offering in the morning, drop from the sixes. It was an $8 close the day before, all the way to 390, hit 450, and then it finds the point around four and bouncing off like 420 ish. Pretty much just stayed in the channel there. As we look back, this has been a recent runner. Ran from six all the way to 19 plus. And here we are in four. So let's look into what happened. On April 19th, they announced they entered into agreement with the university with a study pretty much connecting it to the COV play. Something about inflammatory response, lungs or something. But look, they got a $2.5 million grant from Life Arc, Life Arc. So that was good when it. And then when you look at this, you see on March 4th, they had 17.2 million shares. But then you look over here, you see they did do a rec recent reverse split on the April 15th for one for 20. So you got to divide that by 20. So you got to figure they only had about 850,000 shares when they dropped that news. And that's what caused it to run from the six to the nines. And this is why it dropped. Today, they're doing 4 million shares. So from 850 to 4,850. That's a big increase. And then look at this. Boom, I think if I'm reading that right, that's probably 8 million there. So they're almost times in there. Outstanding shares by 10. So why are they not down by 10, 90 percent, or even into 10 percent? Because still, you got to figure 8 million shares, recent COV play. The market value is still fairly low. Also wanted to go over this. See today, the uh, there are 6.5 million shares. So in theory, there was enough enough volume to exercise all the warrants in one day. But 3.5 million shorts is at 52% short volume for the day. So it's close. So uh, when I look through the three day, I put some points resistance. We'll find. So at the first one, man, we got to stay above four. 420. Got to break 420. That shouldn't be hard. If it breaks under four, I'm gonna sell. I'm in it. I got some shares at 406. A good amount. I'm risking 399. If it breaks under that, I'll reevaluate and try to catch the bottom. I don't know how much lower it can go. It's a, it's a, but it is a speculative play with a lot of warrants. So who knows really? But if it can break that 450, I mean, it should be soft to about six dollars. Not saying it'll jump right to it, but you know, five dollars, 550, all those psychological breaks. But six dollars, I'd be looking for if it can fly over 450 and five. So 450 would be my first one. Five would be my second. Six dollars would be my third. It's gonna get kind of heavy around. 680 ish. Same with around 780 ish. 850. So now we're going up high, but just in case. 1043. And I did do one at, what was that? Around 1175 and 1275 ish. Just in case, but it's kind of wishful thinking now with all the shares because it's so close to the 850. When it did that initial spike, so this is an interesting play. If we can stay over four, I mean, you break that 450, the risk and reward is on the the bull side, in my opinion. But the market's crazy right now, so we'll see. I imagine a lot of shorts are gonna look to cover before the weekend. One more, one more uh, PR regarding the COV. Who knows where this could go? I mean, still even at five, eight. Even if it fully exercised eight million shares, that's really not that much. You gotta figure 
four times eight. Thirty is it still a what? Thirty two million dollar market cap. Fully exercised all at once. With the fresh C O V P R. Be seen with C O D O X and I N O and all these other ones are done, so another fun one to watch. See you guys tomorrow.